A Kent State professor and his student just returned from assessing the devastation in Moore, Oklahoma. But they don't consider themselves storm chasers, rather damage surveyors. Kristen Volk is live on 5. Kristen, this was an eye-opener for them. Yeah, no doubt, Leon. Their stories, their footage, and their emotion of being there really captured the essence of just how bad it is. But as geographers, they surveyed more as scientists in hopes of learning how a tornado destructs what's in its path. It's one thing to see homes damaged and and know that uh, you know people lost a lot, but when you've lost you've lost family, I feel so you probably feel like you've lost everything. What Spencer Baker witnessed firsthand in Moore, Oklahoma, was almost too much for this Kent State geography student to take in at times. Especially going past the schools and seeing the memorials at the schools. The devastation overwhelming as his cameras captured piles of the past. As a person, you want to do everything you can to, to help those people. Um, but at the same time, academically, you can look at it as something that is very, very important. While Baker pitched in as much as he could to help, he also looked at this scene with a scientific eye. With help from his geography professor, Dr. Andrew Curtis, the two closely studied the reasons behind this rubble. In this particular neighborhood, there's a lot of complete damage, but now as you move slightly out, you see some of the homes have actually got less. Their goal is to understand why some homes get hit harder than others. It's a way to look at the amount of damage at a really fine scale. It's not the first time Curtis has assessed the aftermath of natural disasters. He studied the devastation caused by Hurricane Katrina and the tornadoes that ripped through Joplin, Missouri two years ago. Their car becomes their lab, equipped with these tiny cameras which collect data about damage. That's what helps you concentrate is knowing that the work that you're doing really is affecting people, family, friends. And through their research, they hope to ultimately save lives. Baker and his professor are taking the data they collected in Moore last week and will be mapping the damage. Now, those maps and charts will then be sent off to Moore and federal agencies for research and educational purposes. Live on 5, I'm Kristen Volk.